How you doing? I'm Mike Gaddy, and welcome to this week's short cast podcast, COVID and events. This week, I want to talk about why the low attendance numbers continue to happen at live events in the fourth quarter of 2021. In one recent industry Pulse survey, Pulse is a company that surveys event planners and those that are creating these live events. One one planner reported only a 30% attendance rate for their current fourth quarter event over compared to pre-pandemic events. In other words, 70% of their participants did not show up. 70% of event planners cite fear that they're going to create a super spreader COVID event at their event and that it's going to hit the news. 70% are worried they're going to create a problem. That's one reason why, one big reason, they're not even planning events. 42% say the participants are still unwilling to travel to those events. Now, it'll be interesting to see how that number changes now that international travel restrictions have been lifted and in fact in 30 or 32 different European countries it, the travel restrictions are much easier for people to come and attend those events. That's as of uh, the beginning of November. 41% of those meeting planners say that lousy attendance numbers is reason in and of itself not to hold the event and 19% say it's not financially worth their while. Event participants, however, really demand safety protocols right now are in place or they will not attend. And if those safety protocols, such as proof of vaccine or masks, that those protocols aren't spelled out on the event's website and in the registration materials, they are not showing up to the event. And in fact, some of corporate America refuse to authorize travel to events that do not spell out those safety protocols. That led Kevin Inomoto, who is the Chief Strategy Officer for, meeting, uh, uh, for Meetings and Software Provider Bisbee, uh, to say, quote, if masks are not required indoors, if neither proof of vaccination or negative COVID tests for the unvaccinated aren't required, planners should not be surprised about low registration." End quote. Think about that. The very simple step of, of making sure those safety protocols are in place and spelling that out on the website is one way that you can increase the attendance numbers at your live event because then they can take that proof of safety protocols being in place to their corporate author person in charge of authorizing their corporate travel, get the travel authorized, and they'll show up. Otherwise, you're going to see a 30% attendance rate, as in a 70% reduction in attendance for your event. Right now, there is a real dichotomy between what meeting planners want to do and what meeting goers want to do. We'll take a look at that in the next episode of COVID and Events, which will be out next week. Meanwhile, have a great week. I'll talk to you soon.